everybody. How you doing? It's going to be part three of uh, the baseball card collection. I got a nice big trunk today. I went through most of it. But if I saw a box of old cards in it, I left them alone. And I didn't dig through them, so I saved them for this. Because I did see one binder with some 73 in it. So I kind of didn't really peek in there. I looked through a couple pages real quick. And, like, eh. and I closed it right away. I'm like, okay, these are older ones. So out of the big locker, these are the ones I thought were kind of cool. Found a couple of Garbage Pail Kids in there, which I thought was neat. And I'm trying to work on these sets. So I pulled these out, Winfield, Henderson, Jackson, working on the 86 Fleer set. So I pulled those out, Nolan Ryan. I uh, got 85, I'm working on that set. Pretty much all the Fleer and, Fleer and some of the Donruss sets. I'm complete 83 up. But 82, 82 and 81, I'm still working on some stuff. Got Ripken, nice George Brett, 82. 83 Brett, Puckett, and Boggs, and we got Jack Morris, Palmer, Molitor, and Molitor. There's a couple doubles, but see, I'm trying to work on these sets. Then I thought these were really cool. This Topps Chrome 52 World Series Phil Rizzuto. Very cool. That is from, let's see what year that is from on there. 2007. Very cool. It was like a 2005 set in there, too. I thought that was cool. And there's 86 uh, Don Russ set in there as well. And we got this is cool. Game worn jersey from Barry Bonds. And that was really nice. 42 out of 50. Justin Verlander, 2007. I think, was it 2005 was Verlander's rookie? So I'll take the third year part of his uh, uniform there. And I love Finest. Every time I find Finest, I always yank them out. So nothing special, just Top's Finest. I like them. And with some of these mixed in there, 78, 76 football, some 82 football, working on that set. I think I need like 50 more. So I'm definitely, definitely some cool stuff there. I don't think there's any big rookies in here. I think uh, yesterday you saw the best one. Okay, Tony Dorsett is pretty good. That's like a fifth, I think, yeah, 70, 78 was his rookie. Very cool. Brian Pickle, a rookie. I thought that was kind of cool. Well, is it really his rookie? Or would 68 technically be his rookie? I think this is his first card. Let's see. Russian record. I think that's his first card. Could be wrong, though. And I like how uh, B-R-Y-O-N, I thought that was cool. They messed up. It's an O on there. On the back, it's an A. And that wasn't that part of a movie called Brian's Song or something? And we got 74 Panilla. Some Reggies, pulled those out, those were cool. I got 73 Reggie, but as you can see, it's creased. Mercer pulled that out because of 77. Nolan Ryan, can't go wrong with Nolan. And just pulled it out because of 77. Garvey, Hunter, uh, Brock, and a Juan Marichal, but whoosh, creased right down the middle. But this whole box is basically just a throw in, which I thought was really cool. And found some Yu Gi Oh! I think these are from one of the video games. There's three of them, the magnet ones. Alpha, Gamma, Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. I think that is Dio. I'm guessing that's guessing that's one of the video game pack-ins. Yeah, and I could be wrong. Got to look at it on my TCG player app. Great for identifying. And this, one, this one's cool. Number six out of 130, Jimmy Rollins. I got an autograph here of, well, let's say, Wayne's Nix. And I think... Could be wrong. Is that his rookie? Probably not. Doubt it. And of course, I always pull out the Mickey Mantles when I see them. And Juan Gone. That's really cool. Piece of the jersey from Playoff. Cool. And another Mickey. And there's a random gold card. Another Mickey. And this cool Babe Ruth that's numbered. 293 out of 800. And we've got a Lefty Gomes. Nolan Ryan numbered. Some promo of A-Rod. With glue on the back. Very cool. Derek Jeter, Pennant Race. Uh, card 296 from... Is that 2004? Can't. And believe it or not, I actually watched him when he was a little kid. Because uh, we used to live... Uh, we lived near Pequannock. And we had a friend that lived there. And every time he passed, we actually seen him sometime in the field. And we didn't learn until later on that it was Derek Jeter. So that was really cool. I was like the, I guess mid, maybe early to mid 80s, I would say. 
definitely before, maybe even possibly late 80s. So let's see. Got the hill. Just gotta find out what years he lived there. There we go. And this one I think is some kind of parallel because it was in a whole pile of white ones. What else? That was pretty cool. It is, uh, let's see, no, not a numbered auto. Man, this sucker's heavy. It's almost like a plastic card. Oh, the whole thing is plastic. Interesting. And I'm working on the 87, so I pulled all these out. Some 87 football. A couple of decent players. Phil Sims. Let's see, anything special? Tony Dorsett, very nice. Uh, let's see, anybody else in here I recognize? From my good old 80s football watching day, Steve Largent. Uh, Neil Lomax, I know him. Let's see, quarter, I don't remember him as, well, it must have been right before, uh, I must have been like one of the special quarterbacks. So I always, I always remember um, Ken O'Brien. Let's see, Grimsley, Bates, nothing special there. Uh, I think these were from, might have been a couple packs he bought, because there's a bunch of these, these in there. So I probably bought a couple of cellos. So anything special, Dion Cherry. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, checklist. Definitely, I'm a sucker for those. Love checklists. And sh -sh 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 -sh. go through here. Hera, Lee, Krieg, Anderson, nothing special. Uh, Franklin Butler. Okay, Kevin Butler. He's a little familiar. Another Neil Lomax. Just remember the name. I don't think he ever turned out to be some great Hall of Famer or anything. Just remember him for some weird odd reason. Oh, Walter Payton. There we go. One of the greatest to play the game. Christensen. Roby. Leahy. And another Christensen. That would be nice if it was Joe Montana. And another absolute last set I'm working on. I'm almost done with the 86. Tops. That one's a good set. I think the best one in here. We got Gastonel from the New York Sack Exchange. Bill Sims. Awesome. And, yep. Is that Marino? Yeah. Yep, Marino sets up to go deep. Still need the 86 Marino. I got the 84 Marino and the 85 Marino, but I don't got the 86 Marino. Go figure. I got the 87. This is cool. 1970 big Hank Aaron. That's pretty freaking awesome. I think it's kind of funny. It's card number 24, and if you look, on average, he always hit at least 24 home runs every year minimum. And only the one year he didn't was uh Ma... Was in his first year, in his rookie year, only at 13. So that was kind of cool. We got an 87 Tiffany set, the traded. Took a peek, it's all there. Very cool. I don't think it's worth too much. I mean, those are, I think, Greg Maddox or one. I don't even know who's in the 87. Maybe Al Light or some kind of weird. And I saw this. I didn't look through these yet. So I'm guessing there's probably a bunch of older cards in there. I know these are 69s. So... Let's have a peek at the 69s real quick. See if there's anything special in here. Let's see, Patterson, Ropes, Harrison, Williams, Grisanda, Egan, others. Nope, just commons. Let's see, maybe some high numbers. 100. Nope. Uh, maybe 407. That's, I guess, a semi high. It's kind of cool. Take a peek at these. They're probably mostly 85. And of course, we just got Nolan Ryan hanging out at the bottom of the pile. Uh, there are some older ones. I see some some early 60s, so let's leave them for the end. Ooh, Saberhagen. That is rookie. Yes, it is. Uh, Hendo, nice. Barra, Jackson, Boggs, Sandberg, Molitor, Knight, Pete Rose, awesome. Morris, ah, there we go. Good and rookie. This is the very card that uh, hooked me on the hobby in 85. I collected a little before then. I had some 70s cards. But when I opened my first pack of 85, pulled the good and I was hooked. Because the Mets were my team. Gwyn. Oh, Mattingly. There we go. Another great card to pull from that or those at that time. Now it's just these good old Donnie baseball cards. Not really worth much anymore. But I think now like the big one, of course, would be the McGuire and the Pocket. And, of course, Clemens. We got Tory, low grade, but Joe Tory is a Joe Tory. Billy Martin, all right, cool. Schmidt and Sandberg, awesome. Oh, Lou Brock, nice. Yastrzemski, nice. Yount, awesome. Eighty-four. Brett, yeah. I wish I can find 
Wish I could find his 1975 card. But I'll find it someday. Again, it's all in the wild. Carlton, Jackson, and uh, get out of there, Kmart. Quisenberry, is that 84? Yeah, that's cool. Nice, 67. Jay Johnstone, probably need that. And 65, cool. 66. And there's a cool Tiffany one, but sadly, wow, that's a Tiffany. I get a Tiffany card. Interesting. You can tell it's Tiffany because obviously the back is white. And if it was a traded card, normally trade, but if it's glossy, Tiffany. And that's just a common and John Blanchard. 66. Lower grade, but we'll see if I need any of those. And this is the last part of the throw in. And I'll show you something else that was not part of the throw in, that was part of the purchase. So you can see we've got some pages here. I'll throw them out there. So bad condition. Got some good old 73. Very cool. Nice. Okay, let's see. Busey, Hughes, say anybody special. Bell, another Busey. Okay. More rookies. Come on, let's see. Was that third baseman? I think is the one we gotta find. Or first baseman. Got Jim Palmer. Nice. Nothing special in here. Alrighty. Go to the next page. Let's see what we got here. Some commons. Again, working on the set, so might need a couple of these. I think I'm down to 30 away from this whole set. Anybody special in here? Nope. Just some commons. I got Joe Necro. Definitely not a common. Nice. Oh, Doc Ellis, Mr. No No. I know you really can't see it, sorry. You can barely see it there with Doc Ellis. And good old Necro, two of them. And let's see anything else special in here. Uh, no, 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 common, common, common. Just some commons, nothing crazy. Again, be cool to see if I need any of these. Commons, commons, nothing special. I can force them. Oh, Leo DeRocher. Okay, he's decent. Very good player of the past. Say nothing special. Some commons. Tommy Harper, just remember him. For some dumb odd reason, maybe I found a bunch of him. Okay, nothing special there. And nope, all commons in there. We got pitchers, another Busby, another, I don't know, another Enos Cabell. Let's say nope. Gary Matthews. Turn to the next one, and it continues. Same ones. Darn, okay, couple, ooh, there we go. William McCovey, nice. Couple of Cobbs, Cy Young, Hui Peo. Got a kitty cat. Gaylord Perry, very nice, you can see right there. Mercer, I don't know if that's autographed or somebody just scribbled on it. Oh, actually, I think these are autographed. Ted Simmons, Bobby Mercer. There's Rolly Fingers. Very cool. And let's see, Jerky Fer Janky. Yeah, Fergie Jenkins autograph. One Marichal, nice. Bonds, Cat, Staub. Cool, another Mercer. And some 75s. I think I might actually need that one with the Kofax. Perry, great. Awesome player. And... Let's say a couple 77, 78, 77, 79. Yeah, biggest is probably, oh, is that a Fred Lynn autograph? Cool. Very nice. Nettles and the Cubby. Very cool. Randolph. Very cool. Okay, so that's the 70s little binder. And this one, I'm not going to show the whole thing, but this was definitely one of the big things part of purchase. It is 1969 set. And it's missing about. I think about 200 and something cards, but they're all, all the big ones are in there. All the Hall of Famers, the rookies, except for one. Sadly, there's no Reggie Jackson, but everybody else is in there. Pete Rose is in there. The, you saw already the Mickey Mantle, a couple of the other ones I had in the, in the what do you call it, the screw downs, like the Nolan Ryan stuff. So pretty much, uh, I'm going to see if I can finish this set off for myself, but I could definitely see some nice stuff. You can see the Pete Rose in the corner up there. Definitely one of the nicer, tougher ones to get from that year. Uh, and, of course, we got good old Hammer and Hank, which is, was just definitely a lot better condition than my own personal one. Mine has a crease running through it. This one, eh, this one has some creases, too, but good old Hammer and Hank. Great card. And pretty much all the other big ones you can think of are in there. Except for, of course, just the one 
the big, big card. He gave that away as a wedding gift years and years ago. So, pretty cool set, though. Carly Stramski, I mean, they're all old, and most of the good ones are really decent shape. The Brock, for instance. If you look at the Brock, look at that. Probably solid six. Maybe a little better. Again, not big on grading. I like my cards raw. Let me just do this so I don't damage anything. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed that. Maybe someday I'll show all the, the goodies from 69, as I think this might probably be the first uh, 60 set I'm going to finish. So I hope you enjoyed that. As usual, if you know, we'd always want to help the channel grow there. Feel free to hit the old subscribe button and, and give it a thumbs up if you like it. If not, you can feel free to dislike it if you enjoy it. And give me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this collection so far. Good old Hammer and Hank. And uh, hit the bell so you know when we got more of these coming up. And we'll see you in the next video. Have yourself a great weekend. Bye-bye.